My dear child, I am your father and the one God. I'm excited to inform you that your time has arrived. I've got a beautiful and mysterious money present for you. You already have this unique talent, but by the conclusion of this video, you will understand how to get access to it. Your life will alter radically if you hear what I have to say to you now via this message. This film appears on your screen for one reason, to reveal what I have for you. It is critical that you hear every word till the conclusion. Don't waste a single minute so you won't regret it later. Allow this message to lead you into trusting the process. Remember, I sent an angel, and I only have good intentions for you. When the angel came, he brought with him the perfect tranquility that only angels possess. But, as he neared you, something unexpected occurred. He felt an intense intensity unlike anything he had ever felt before. His interest intensified until he felt immobilized, as if confronted by a heavenly mystery. Why did one of my angels, who was used to the tranquility and serenity of heaven, experience such a strong presence? Today, you will start to notice indications and see a metamorphosis. At first, it may seem little, but you will soon be living the life you have always desired. At the conclusion of this video, you will have a revelation. When the changes occur, don't tell anybody. Remember, I work in quiet, which is critical to your change. When you hear a word that calls to your heart, immediately say, I receive, so that grace might pour into your life. There is a tremendous purpose waiting for you, and this angel is come to lead you there. The revelation you will get will not only benefit you, but it may also have an influence on people around you. Your brightness and purpose generate a domino effect. When you change, others are inspired to change as well. This marks the start of a personal metamorphosis that will affect all part of your life. Allow the angel's words to soak into your being. Don't try to grasp everything at once, certain things will become clearer with time. The most essential thing is to be open and responsive. Today, my son and daughter, I'd want to share a wonderful message with you, one that has the capacity to permanently modify and reshape your reality. Yes, a gift from heaven has arrived to you, and it will bestow amazing blessings. I know life has been rough and the fight has been hard, but I want to remind you today that I am faithful. I can see every cry, prayer, and desire. Nothing escapes my attention. I know every element of your life, and I know precisely what you need. I haven't forgotten you. You may feel neglected, as if your prayers haven't been heard, yet I'm working behind the scenes. I'm delivering fresh possibilities, benefits, and changes that will dramatically reshape your life. Receive this blessing. How often have you worried about the future? It may seem impossible to find serenity among so many duties, but dear son and daughter, I want you to know that there is hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and it is I, Jesus Christ. The energy emanating from you puzzled the angel, yet it was not bad. On the contrary, it was bright and vibrant. He was attempting to figure out where the power originated from and what it signified. The meeting disrupted the angel's normal tranquility. Your compassion, determination, and maybe something from your history, all contributed to your current state. The angel became determined to conceal the secret. You, in your humanity, seemed unconscious of your influence on this entity of light. The angel grew very intrigued by the event. He sensed not just your energy, but also a link between you and the universe, something unseen but unbreakable. It's as if your soul is intended for something higher than you can now fathom. 
Remember what I said in Matthew 6 verse 34, so don't worry about tomorrow, since tomorrow will bring its own concerns. Today's problems are enough for today. I educate you to take each day as it comes, knowing that I will provide for you at all times. Sometimes it seems like you're trekking across a desert, with no idea when you'll find water to satisfy your thirst. But even in the desert, I am present. I am the God who provides, the God who creates a way when none exists. I accomplish this for the Israelites by guiding them through the desert, and I will do the same for you. Soon, I'll unveil a powerful relic left by Jesus, and by the conclusion of this film, you'll have exclusive access to it. Stay tuned. Before I discuss this relic and how you may get it, I'd want you to shut your eyes. My dear, today I am sending you a strong message of hope and development. I have put this message in your heart to convey to you. Be alert, for I am sending my angels to transform your reality, bringing wealth and riches. You may be going through a terrible period right now, but I want to urge you not to give up hope. I am loyal and maintain my commitments. My angels are encircling you and ready to act on your behalf. They are striving to open doors where there seem to be none, and to discover answers when everything appears lost. Imagine you're in a dark room, wondering where to go. Suddenly, a light shines, leading you to an open door. That entrance represents a chance for riches and plenty. I'm guiding you there, and my angels are here to guide you through it. Accept this grace. Maybe you've done everything but are still locked in a cycle of shortage and disappointment. It may seem that no matter how hard you strive, something is continually impeding your progress, like an invisible barrier between you and the blessings you seek. But know this, today I have a particular message for you. I want you to be loyal even in minor ways. We often concentrate on major accomplishments and ambitions, while overlooking the modest chances for fidelity that emerge in our everyday lives. In Luke 16 verse 10, Jesus said, Whoever is faithful in little will also be faithful in much. This implies that in order to reach our goals, we must first be responsible stewards of the benefits we have already received. Consider how you manage the little things in your life. It might be a job you dislike, a seemingly trivial duty, or even how you treat others through simple gestures. These behaviors prepare your heart to truly trust others. Multiple times. I'd want to test whether I can trust you with something vital. Receive this gift, being loyal in minor things indicates that we are ready to receive more. It's like planting a seed. You care for it, water it, and give it attention. It eventually yields fruit. I watch you care for the seeds I give you, and when I see your consistency, I offer you additional seeds, chances, and benefits. My angel's connection was more than just curiosity, it became a personal mission to guarantee that you, with all of your energy and potential, were not overlooked in the broad scheme of the cosmos. This task prompted the angel to make judgments he had never considered before, testing even the knowledge he had collected over ages. On this journey of learning, the angel came to understand himself. His energy and essence not only affected his personal path, but also revealed parts of reality that he had never considered. You were like a mirror, reflecting secret truths about the universe that even heavenly beings needed to grasp. Without realizing it, you and the angel enhanced one other throughout this quiet chat. Every day, the angel discovered new reasons to stay with you, not just to defend you but also to learn from you. He admires your resilience, love, and will to conquer adversity. 
Every difficulty you encountered and every win you gained reinforced the notion that your energy is distinct and serves a certain purpose. This angel took it upon himself to be your protector, both physically and spiritually. Not only did the energy you released modify the angel, but it also changed the atmosphere around you. People who knew you sensed this good vibe, which encouraged hope and strength. Without realizing it, you become a beacon of light, guiding and supporting people around you. My angel, from his heavenly vantage point, watched with pride and adoration as you realized your destiny, knowing he had made the correct choice by remaining by your side. Be consistent with your funds, even if they seem to be minimal. Give your tithing, assist those in need, and watch as I grow your money in ways you never imagined. Be committed to your employment, even if it is not your ideal job. Work with quality and devotion because I recognize and reward those who are dependable. I have put you in circumstances to test and deepen your faith. I want to test whether you can trust me in modest ways before entrusting you with much more. You may be wondering why I don't instantly offer you whatever you ask for. The answer is simple, I'm preparing you for something higher. I want you to be prepared for the benefits I have in store for you. Receive each step of the path with the assurance of my unfailing love and kindness. Allow this to give you confidence that you will never travel alone, since I will always be with you, looking over you and guiding your path to fulfillment and inner peace. You'll discover how money arrives to you from both anticipated and unexpected sources. Your income and assets will grow, and you will be prudent with your resources and cash. You will donate a portion of your income to charitable organizations, spreading your wealth as the universe returns it to you with growing generosity. You'll discover unique ways to broaden your financial horizons and achieve new heights of achievement. Gratitude will be your constant companion, helping you notice and appreciate every gift in your life. As you connect with this energy, you will feel richness and happiness that transcend beyond the tangible element of prosperity. Now, my lovely son and daughter, I have something wonderful and exquisite for you today. I want you to stop what you're doing and pay close attention, because this message has the potential to transform your life in tremendous ways. I'm the Lord your God, speaking straight to your heart. Remember my vows to you. This is more than just a word, it is an everlasting pledge from me, the creator of heaven and earth, to lead, protect, and bless your life. Each of my pledges expresses my unshakable love and dedication. Remember the promise that you'll never be alone. Even when everything seems to be falling around you, I am at your side. My presence is continuous, and my love is unwavering. I see every tear, hear every prayer, and feel every anguish you experience. I pledge to transform your tears into rivers of joy, your prayers into miracles, and your suffering into proof of triumph. Accept this deeply, my promises will always be there to support you in times of need. Even if your strength fails, mine will be more than enough to sustain you. When your hope has faded, I will not only revive your faith, but also restore it. Trust me totally and put all of your troubles in my capable hands, for I care for you with a love that is beyond comprehension. I am your limitless supply of strength, bravery, and comfort. I sent my angels to reassure you that you are not alone and that there is always light to guide you. Listen to my message with an open heart and mind, and allow yourself to sense my presence in your life. Consider how you can use your strengths and talents in the scenarios I have presented to you. I believe in you, and the angel who was affected by meeting you demonstrates that. You are distinctive and unique. The world needs you to shine. 
Always remember that each day is a fresh chance to learn more about yourself and the role I have for you. I have wonderful plans for your life, plans for success rather than calamity, plans that will offer you a live hope and a bright future. However, in order for these plans to succeed, you must completely trust me. Don't depend exclusively on your limited comprehension, instead, recognize me in everything. I absolutely trust you, my father, son, and daughter. Today, I'd like to reveal a significant secret that my loving Jesus left you. It is a spiritual treasure that has the power to not only change, but also alter your life in ways you never imagined. Be cautious, because what I'm going to share might be the key you've been looking for. The key is God's kingdom and righteousness, and all of these will be added to you, Matthew 6 verse 33. This simple yet powerful phrase contains such profound truth that, when properly understood and utilized, it has the potential to totally transform your life. Let's talk about what this implies and how you may use it in your everyday life. Seeking the kingdom of God entails prioritizing God and His ideals above all else. Too frequently, we let our daily problems and responsibilities, work, family, money, and health, to overtake us. Of sure, these things are vital. However, I teach that when we prioritize God in our life, He will take care of everything else. He is not suggesting that these things are insignificant, but rather that we should prioritize the pursuit of God and His righteousness. What is the Kingdom of God? It is a realm in which I rule supreme, where my beliefs and fairness are upheld. This is a kingdom that values love, peace, justice, and the truth. Seeking the kingdom entails living in line with these principles, enabling me to live every day in your hearts and lives. To pursue God's righteousness entails living honestly and justly, following Jesus' teachings and example. It entails loving your neighbor as yourself, forgiving those who have wronged you, being compassionate, and demonstrating mercy. It entails living according to the kingdom of God's ideals in all aspects of your life. By honestly pursuing God's kingdom, you not only provide a greater gift to people around you, but your life also becomes a living testament of change. The forces of God around you will see the shift and be motivated to pursue God as well. You will become a light of hope, love, and truth in a world that sorely needs these qualities. As you move closer to me, I will protect you, guide you, and guarantee that your destiny is fulfilled. I am attentively monitoring your behaviors, choices, and feelings. Every element of your everyday life contributes to the puzzle of who you are. Every laugh, every cry, every moment of uncertainty and triumph, everything counts. The more you learn about yourself, the more you'll realize you have something special to offer the world. So, take a time to contemplate and forward this message to your friends, family, and acquaintances. Let us work together to communicate the good news about our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, about the gift I described earlier, the one you already have but must fully accept. I've prepared two presents for you, and in the end, a wonderful extra awaits. The first gift is calm that is beyond our comprehension. This is a genuinely unique gift, a priceless gem that dramatically alters our lives. Consider the peace of mind that comes with knowing that no matter what happens, you are secure in my arms. Consider what it would be like to live without the continual worry, the dread of the future, and the anxiety that so frequently robs us of happiness. My tranquility includes all of this and more. This serenity is not merely an illusion of security created by our circumstances, it is anchored in utter faith in me, 
in the belief that I am in complete control of everything. When we encounter life storms, this tranquility supports us and provides us the courage to persevere. Jesus said to us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you what the world gives, John 14 verse 27. Nothing in the world can compare to the tranquility I bring. It soothes the heart, delivers tranquility even in the most trying situations, and gives us confidence that I care about you. Consider those evenings when you couldn't sleep, when your mind was racing with concerns and anxieties. Imagine all of those anxieties being transferred to me, enabling me to handle everything. Visualize the profound relief and peace that pervades your whole existence. This is my serenity. Accept and enjoy this gift thoroughly. To properly experience this tranquility, you must create a personal connection with me. Spend time in my company, pay attention to what I say, and believe what I guarantee. This partnership yields God's peace as its fruit. The closer we are to God, the more profoundly we feel His calm. Today, I'd want to offer you this tranquility. I ask you to rest in me, to give me your anxieties, and to open your heart to the serenity that I provide. Allow me to soothe your spirit and provide serenity to your heart. Live in my calm every day and witness how it transforms your life. May I continue to bless you abundantly now and always. Accept the gift of peace from your Father. You are far more than you realize, so keep moving ahead. Trust in yourself and the signals I provide you. Finally, if even an angel admires who you are, consider what you might do if you had such faith in yourself. Though it may seem intimidating, each step puts you closer to your objective. Today, I'd want to remind you that you're not alone on this path. Every problem you experience is a chance to learn more about yourself and the plan I have for you. My rich sustenance is the second most significant gift I provide. Imagine never having to worry about paying your bills or providing for your family's basic necessities. Consider the peace of mind that comes with knowing that I am providing for you in ways you can't comprehend. This is my promise of bountiful provision to those who trust me. I am your shepherd, and I love and care for you deeply. I comprehend every element of your life, every worry, every heartfelt desire, and I can address all of your needs in ways that frequently go beyond your comprehension. I have everything and nothing is out of my grasp. Remember when you encountered challenging chores or financial challenges that you couldn't handle and then discovered an unexpected solution? I acted in your life to show you that I am always there and care about you. I am the God of provision, and I will never leave my children. When we consider God's provision, we often restrict our perspective to what we can see and comprehend. However, I go much beyond that. I will meet your material, emotional, and spiritual needs. I fortify you, giving you bravery, insight, and all you need to live a fulfilling and fruitful life. Consider the satisfaction of having your bills covered, being able to offer the best for your family, and generously assisting others. This is part of my supply. I gift you with the ability to bless others by sharing my riches with those around you. However, God's provision extends beyond worldly goods to encompass peace of mind and confidence in my ability to influence my circumstances. When you put your confidence in me and give me all of your troubles, I will give you peace beyond your comprehension. I will quiet your heart, direct your actions, and teach you how to accept this rich supply. It is critical to have confidence and trust in my promises. I am concerned about every element in your life. Open your heart and mind to accept what I have planned for you. 
Be thankful even before you see the results of my provision, because you know I am good and care about you. Accept this magnificent gift. Whatever faults you have committed, my mercy is sufficient to forgive and change you. You may be carrying a tremendous load of guilt and humiliation, believing your misdeeds are irreparable, yet grace is stronger than any sin. This is a gift that I extend with outstretched arms, hoping you would take it. My children, I've also given you a tremendous treasure, an easily available gift that may transform your life in unfathomable ways, the Bible. It is more than a book, it is a source of knowledge, comfort, and guidance. Through my immense love, I gave you this rare gem so that you may understand my will and enjoy a full and fruitful life. The Bible is a compilation of ancient tales that also serves as a life guide. Every page and verse has principles that may be used in your everyday life. What's even more astounding is that no matter how many times you read the same text, you'll always find something new to discover and learn. Consider the Bible to be a love letter from me to you, including evidence of my unconditional love, promises of hope and everlasting life, and directions for how you should live. It reminds you that you are not alone, and that I am always there to guide and protect you. The Bible also offers guidance for making choices in a world fraught with ambiguity and problems. For accurate instruction, consult the Bible. It teaches you what is right and wrong, how to respect people, and how to live a life that makes me proud. To genuinely benefit from the Bible's depth, you must include it into your daily practice on a consistent basis. It is insufficient to just open the book at challenging circumstances. You should spend time each day reading the Bible, reflecting on its words, and allowing them to inspire you. Begin at a leisurely speed, possibly reading one page every day. What is important is not the quantity of pages you read, but the daily meditation and implementation of its principles. When you break this practice, you will see how heavenly words change you into the image of Jesus, giving you a new heart and purpose. This shift helps not just you, but also people around you, friends, family, and co-workers. Do not overlook this valuable gift. Every day, open your Bible and allow me to speak to you, lead you, and provide insight, strength, and encouragement. Allow me to impact your life in ways you never dreamed. When you allow appreciation to fill your being, you open the floodgates to the infinite benefits that the universe has in store for you. Every breath you breathe is a gift, and every moment is a chance to celebrate the wonder of life. Accept with delight and charity all the universe has to give, and you will be amazed at how it replies with unwavering love. Amen. May your hearts be full with thankfulness for all the benefits you have received and those that will come. Be an example of thankfulness in all aspects of your life, reflecting my generosity, Father. Finally, I want to make your life one of humility and service. Always remember that all of the benefits you get are from me. They are merely transitory resources provided with hope and love, so that my light might shine through you, lighting the path for everyone you encounter. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Look, son and daughter, you didn't find this video by coincidence. In my kingdom, there are no coincidences, everything has a purpose. Today's goal is to reinforce your faith and revive your hope. If you sense a burden on your shoulders and doubt in your heart, take a deep breath and ready for change. You wonder how this is possible. The solution is simple, trust does not recognize the term impossible, and the greatest gifts come from it. The reward comes from where the sun rises and sets, reaching you with the force of a July thunderstorm. Keep your eyes wide open.
not only literally, but also spiritually, because I am already doing marvels around you. Express thankfulness for the miracles, the beauty of the land, the grandeur of the mountains, the tranquility of the valleys, the warmth of the sun, the gentle light of the moon, and the brilliance of the stars. Imagine a large sum of money multiplied by ten at the conclusion of the week, bringing enormous riches, good health, and success into every aspect of your life. Believe, daughter and son, in the face of a world howling with dread. I am the everlasting wellspring of unwavering faith. Pay attention to the tiny signals, since they will reveal my grace. Big transformations will start with tiny compromises. When blessings arrive, utilize them wisely, with thankfulness, and always with a willing heart to serve others. You have been consistent in your religion, which is valuable. I've seen your restless nights and everyday anxieties over whether you'll have bread tomorrow. But I'm telling you, never quit up. My son and daughter, stand up, keep waiting, and let my grace embrace you. It is time to see your prayers answered and your aspirations fulfilled. Change has already come and will continue to be with us as we exalt your path and enhance the one we've made together. This is my promise to you, and I will keep it because I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Feel the calm that beyond all understanding, because it guarantees my presence in your life. I know you love me and want to do what I desire. You are looking forward to all the rewards and magnificent duties that I will bestow upon you. You may regret certain actions, wishing to go back in time and repair errors, but my plan for you will be realized despite the anguish of failure and the hurdles you have encountered. I see a fire in your heart that burns with love, loyalty, and obedience. When you respectfully bow to me with sincerity, I can tell you value me. So do not give up. I understand that circumstances might make the road less clear at times. Look through the eyes of faith, because I am going to open the windows of heaven and pour down not just what you need, but also the desires of your heart which only I know. I am the Lord, he answered, and it will come true in your lifetime. You may be tempted to question since your route is long and difficult, but allow yourself to whisper dread into the process and maintain your trust, knowing that a higher force is leading you at all times. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, we approach you now in humility and appreciation. Our channel is more than just movies and words, it is a place where the divine message may find its way into the hearts of those seeking faith and hope. Every piece of information we generate has the potential to change people's lives, reinvigorate their faith, and light pathways. We welcome you to be an active participant in this endeavor. Your gift, no matter how modest, makes a significant impact. It enables us to continue providing relevant material, expand our reach, and provide a spiritual gathering place for everyone seeking the word. Thank you for your comments on the video and for supporting this cause that affects lives and enriches our faith. If you are unable to give, please assist us by sharing this video with people who need to hear God's word. Your presence right now is more important than anything else. Thank you so much for getting this far. May God bless you everybody, and see you in the future video.